All right, people, um, let's see. Just got done filming uh, the last video to where I added the um, the jacks. Oop, right there, and on the back to stabilize this. Um, so now, something I've been pondering since I put the since I put the Jeep. Uh, sorry, <laughs> said to put the Jeep. Since I took the tent off the Jeep and put it on top of the trailer, I'm losing my um, cargo thing that was on the top that carries my fishing gear um, and if I'm using this for camping um, if I had some cargo area um, or space on the trailer I could put my camping gear in it and just go um, probably wouldn't leave it on there all the time but that's the idea is just kind of build the trailer to where I can just throw my tubs on and go uh, I talked about it a little bit in the last video but kind of changed my mind um, still gonna deck this out um, and that's just uh, to protect the kayaks on and off, uh, things like that. Oh, scratching my truck. Because um, I'm kind of hurting the bottom of my kayak on and off the metal. So I'm gonna put some wood, it's a little softer, something to kind of take the blunt of uh, the beading on and off as well. Um, and let me show you what else I'm doing. Okay, so I broke out the welding machine and don't knock my welds uh man i can't see as good as i used to uh but welds are not pretty um so basically because i want this to be somewhat modular um i got it i got some ideas for the future i'll explain later but <clears throat> i was just going to use the shallow strut because i had it um and i just like building stuff with the shallow, shallow strut plus if i want to mount something to it i've got plenty of hardware uh from where i built the tent stuff that I can use um, to slide in and out of these tracks, T-slots, man, I could do whatever. Um, I could build a rack to, um, like the air conditioner idea, right? Things like that. I can, I can just mount a box there off of this thing and roll with it. Um, I'm also thinking of, well, I don't wanna get ahead of myself. Let's stick with what I know. So I welded these on there. I picked an elevation, got them straight. Obviously one's longer than the other one, it's not supposed to be. Uh, just trying the idea out. Now, uh, as you've seen, I've had, I have these Plano boxes. It's a sportsman's trunk. Give you an idea of what they are. There's the SKU numbered Academy, pretty sure. That's where I got them both. Uh, these things are, oh, sorry, hold on. One-handed sucks sometimes. All right, sorry. Um, so I built this to sit on here and still have a little bit of room so the lid will lay back. A couple of reasons, let me show you what it's gonna look like. It's gonna sit out some, not that much. <laughs> probably when we're live, I mean, just, probably just where I can balance the lid. Yeah, somewhere like that. Still kind of mining it out, figuring it out. I'm gonna put one on each side is the idea. I'm just kind of mocking up this side. Um, when it's down at camp, it's a place to sit things. It's another area I can strap things to. Uh, and like I said, even after I secure the box to the, the uh, rack, um, I can mount other things to this. Um, something I have in mind, is an, a, a tent light, something I can take on and off because I don't want to leave it on the trailer all the time. But something I can plug my battery to. Um, I can see making a rack to mount the battery when I'm not using the kayak. I may just use the space in between. But if I'm taking the kayaks and I'm going fishing the next morning, um, I can pretty much have everything I need right here in one place. Um, so <clears throat> the thing is, I don't want to lose the ability to trailer my kayak. I'm 42 years old, two herniated disc. I can't drag a hundred pound, hundred plus pound kayak everywhere. Uh, so that's the idea. So like I said, just mocking this up for the time being, 
have a box on each side. Um, I also measured these tubs. I uh, can't remember what they're called, but they're from Lowe. They're real heavy duty from Lowe's or Home Depot, one or the other. And uh, they will also fit in this, um, between these uh, pieces here. And they also have a ledge made to tie them down and secure them. Now, I'm not putting a, I'm not putting a jack or anything. I'm not putting heavy, heavy stuff in this thing. Well, for starters, I don't need a jack because these other jack stands will actually lift this up. I'm putting my kayak gear, I mean, sorry, my uh, camping gear and my kayak gear. Um, so, you know, it's not gonna be heavy, heavy stuff. The idea is to keep this trailer super light, super nimble, and uh, yeah. All right, let me get this wrapped up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, guys. Looks like I've got got it done um, for the most part. Hold on. All right. I just got done welding the other side over there. So, tell you what, hold on just a second. All right. Hard to tell. I think it looks good though. I think it worked out really, really well. Tell you what, I could probably. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. Do -do -do. Uh, there we go. Plenty of light now. All right. And you know, if I if I wanted to uh, <clears throat> turn off this welding machine, sorry. If I wanted to extend the axle out, I could, and actually uh, have more to work with. But, you know, you can see this is, um, I don't know, for me, it's like belly button high uh, tabletop. If I wanted to, I could most likely um, I could most likely put a uh, like cutting board type surface across this and really stiffen it up um, sorry guys I've got crap everywhere one sec alright there we go well, I think you get the idea, adding storage. So what I'm gonna do, my plan is, I'm gonna make a bracket oh, to connect to the box and uh, to screw down to the uh, channel. Um, yeah, sorry, the strut. And, or, you know, I may just put a bolt through it just to make sure it's like solid and secure. I could probably put some goo on it but yeah i mean it's a good it's a good sturdy surface and not only that you know things like oh, big table how does that look i don't know i'm just kind of thinking uh, nah, i don't know that doesn't really look well but you get the idea i mean i can actually fold that out and put it in the center if i ever needed to but it gives me another place to strap things down to. It's solid and secure. It'll hold an amount of weight. All right. I'm digging it. Tell me what you think, guys. Um, out of breath i think i'm gonna call it a night this video is done later all right i said i was done but you know how that goes 
I think this is gonna work. I really do. If I wanna camp, I can just push my boat forward some. I can actually go more than that. I just got it. Um, don't think I'll be, uh, we go perfect angle from a ladder plenty of space um, honestly a lot of my fishing gear probably sit inside the kayak anyway um, some of my camping gear too so I would presume my wife's kayak sitting on top of that if we go together so yeah I think I can make this work I really do. Nice. Couple angles of that. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I may uh, reposition that uh, spare tire. I think I could put that spare tire somewhere else and maybe just run that way. It's not too bad. Put a little tongue weight on it. Trailer's not heavy at all. Like I can easily lift it with my hand. All three of these jacks to just jack it up, pick the tires up. So, okay, now this is it for this video. Just wanted you to check this out. See where I was at with it. Now, Imagine on this Unistrut, other gear mounted to it. Um, I'll probably put some gussets, little corner bracket gussets or something, kickers to help with the weight. And if I do that, then I can really, I can probably add some water tanks to each side. Yeah, this is working out way cooler than I expected it to. So yeah, there we go. Super simple, low budget, stable, Jeep towable. There it is. Man, I get done with this thing. I'm gonna have to put some different wheels or something on it. I cannot stand those. All right, guys, this time, for real. Thanks for watching.